Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. Happy New Year to all the Geminis out there. Um, I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. This is your tarot forecast for the week of January 1st through to the 6th. So let's see what's going on with Gemini. First up, we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse, followed then by the Seven of Swords upright. And next we have the Page of Swords in the reverse, followed then by the King of Cups upright. And lastly, we have the Nine of Cups in the upright. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Gemini, for your overall energy, you have that of the Seven of Cups in the reverse position. It looks like Gemini may have made a decision about something coming into the year. In the upright position, the Seven of Cups represents a lot of options and a lot of opportunities, and it's very confusing energy because we need to narrow it down to just one very viable um, uh, option. When the card is in the upright, that's what we're kind of doing. When the card is reversed now, we are making our decision and, um, or some of you may have made a decision already and it'll be different for all of you. It's just a general read. For some of you, your decision could be made on the home front or at work. Um, it could definitely be with a relationship as well. Maybe you've decided this is the one person that I want to start dating or or start being around. So that's cool. Coming right off the hop, we have the Seven of Swords in the upright position. Seven of Swords upright, um, this can be a little bit of a sketchy energy. Seven of Swords has so many different meanings. Uh, for the most part, the Seven of Swords can represent just an avoidance a desire. It could be you yourself maybe as a, uh, trying to, maybe that's for some of you, maybe that's a decision you made to uh, completely avoid someone um, or a situation. Uh, or this could be someone avoiding you or uh, this can also represent someone because he's known as the sneak thief, right? This is someone who could, you know, sometimes potentially, hopefully it's, it's not happening, but this could be a thief, someone taking your belongings. But he can also be someone stealing, trying to steal your ideas or just being generally sketchy. So there could be someone in your environment, uh, Gemini, that is sort of acting like that really sketchy. Definitely when it's paired up with the Page of Swords now in the reverse position, talk about sketchy. The Page of Swords, this is a court card, so this could be representing a person. If it is, this is uh, uh, air energy, Gemini, like yourself, or that of uh, Aquarius and um, Libra, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. It could be that this... Um, page of swords when he's in the upright this person trying to bring a message but he he's not really fully versed in what it, the conversation he's bringing towards you that's why i always suggest when he's in the upright just maybe double check your information to make sure it's on the up and up when it's reversed, however, this person could be sometimes, um, this can represent even a cutoff in communication. Maybe for some of you who, uh, this is a person who's being sketchy, maybe you cut off communication with them. Uh, for others of you, this could be uh, just representing, because the Page of Swords in reverse can represent somebody who's sending messages that are on the nasty side. Uh, somebody maybe who's upset with you because you didn't choose them. <laughs> that could definitely be for some, for some Geminis out there. For others of you, this person could be, um, the Page of Swords can out and out be deceptive with their words. They can be nasty with their words. And they can also uh, be, you know, stalkerish. Here's some stalkerish and Hershey going on around there. Maybe they're spying on you or they could be telling tales out of school, that kind of thing. So yeah, the early part of the week looks a little bit uh, odd here, Gemini. You'll have to leave a message in the comment section below. Let me know if this uh, resonates and how for you. Moving on towards the weekend of the 5th and 6th, we have the King of Cups in the upright position. The King of Cups, this is a court card, so it could be representing a person. This time it's water energy, that of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. Now, if it's not representing a person, it's just the qualities of the King of Cups when he's in the upright. This is a person who has run the gauntlet on being able to control and, and understand emotions very well. 
Um, this person can help you if this is an, a person external to you, Gemini. This could be somebody who's being very uh, compassionate, caring, understanding, a person who can, you can sort of lay your emotions on the line with them and they will help you to navigate because the King of Cups has a lot of, of experience navigating the emotional realm of life so perhaps if some of you are upset this could, person could be someone consoling you for others of you maybe this is just you um, embodying the energies of the king cups and you're being that compassionate um, caring and understanding person for someone else and the last card you have up that ends your read in your week is the Nine of Cups in the upright position. This is beautiful energy. The Nine of Cups is um, very celebratory. It's definitely celebrating. And what are we celebrating? A wish. Maybe a prized wish is coming um, coming to pass for you this week, Gemini, maybe towards the weekend. And you're feeling really, really good and very celebratory. Just don't celebrate too much. The Nine of Cups can sometimes represent a little bit of excess. But other than that, it's great. Pick your wish, Gemini on the weekend a wish is about to be granted to gemini i hope this reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe otherwise i will see you next week bye bye for now